Hi, this is your host Abdul Bharatiya and welcome to a special edition of tf Let's Talk here at QCon EU in Amsterdam. And today we have with us once again Chris Clark, Program Manager at Cloud Pony Foundation. Chris, it's great to have you on the show. Great to be here, Swapno. Always a pleasure. It's Yeah, it is always a pleasure to talk to you. Um, let's talk about, uh, because I think this this time or last time also at uh, QCon, you folks talked a lot about Griffey. Uh, and if I'm not wrong, the latest release came out, you know, a few days or weeks ago. So first, ago, yeah. yeah, so let's give a kind of, you know, recap on, let's start with the basics. What is Griffey? And sure. then what's new in this release? Well, uh, Karifi is the is latest uh, platform out of the Cloud Foundry Foundation, and it's a, it's a lighter weight implementation of, of Cloud Foundry, um, which has traditionally been a very opinionated, uh, heavy footprint uh, cloud application platform. Um, and Karifi is a simpler implementation of that. So it's the Cloud Foundry API and CLI, but uh, deployed with an entirely Kubernetes CRD-based backend. Um, so it should be, the idea is that it'll be much more extensible and, um, and composable um, so that as new CNCF projects and other, other cloud technologies become mature, they can be incorporated into Karifi. Uh, whereas with Cloud Foundry, traditionally Cloud Foundry on VMs, we sometimes call it, um, that was challenging to swap out one part for another part. It was kind of a Take it or take it or leave it type of situation. So that's the the gist of what Karifi is uh, trying to accomplish. Basically, giving uh, Kubernetes users that 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 you know best in class Cloud Foundry developer experience and solving a lot of the day day one day two problems that people have with Kubernetes. Um, and Karifi just hit zero point seven um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, this release had uh, some some notable improvements in logging and metrics um, and some other some other features. Um, earlier in the year, uh, there was increased support for AWS. Um, and, and so the, the features are, are coming out. It, we're still not quite at a GA point. There's a couple of key features that we still need to, to work out. Um, but it's they've made a tremendous amount of progress in the last, I think it's been 10 or 11 months since uh, 0 0.1 was cut. So, you know, we're hoping later this year that we get a, a uh, maybe a 1.0 release. Uh, when we look at Griffey, because uh, from, from Cloud Foundry, uh, Foundation project. A lot of effort have been going on for really early days, you know, mm -hmm. to release, you know, projects, you know, to kind of balance between Kubernetes and so is Griffey kind of evolution of those projects, or is like you know a totally new projects from you know ground up uh, to solve some of these problems? Well, both. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the, the, there's there were a few initiatives um, over the last few years to incorporate Cloud Foundry with Kubernetes. And um, we've learned a lot from those. We ran into some, some roadblocks there. Uh, and it, it's just it, it's not a technically trivial uh, job to, to undertake. So uh, Karifi is what we think is the best architectural approach to solving this problem. And um, so far, we've, we've been quite happy with how it's developed. And since you are, you're still, I mean, it's 0.7, so, uh, do you have any, of course, said open source projects are really hard to say, but when you do feel that you will hit the you know, point release and you're like, hey, this is when we will hit, or you are still like, no, this is still work in progress and we'll move forward. Once again, it's an open source project where the community takes it, or you do have a set deadline that, hey, this is- There's, there's no deadline. And and we don't even have a, a, you know, we're not totally sure about what features we need to have in that, but there are a few key features that, that are still being worked on that we'd like to have um, squared away before we, you know, make our, our larger push for, for this. So right now we're just, you know, kind of spreading the word about Karifi. Um, I mean, and, and it, it's it's working right now. You can, you know, it deploys apps and it does a lot of, a, a lot of the, the uh, the CF push experience, at least for, from Cloud Foundry, is there, um, and you can deploy it on your laptop quickly, uh, which is something you could never do before with a traditional Cloud Foundry. So, there's already some nice advantages, even though it's not a one-to-one -one parity with Cloud Foundry features. There's some nice advantages to Karifi over traditional Cloud Foundry already. Uh, this question may be a bit uncomfortable, which is more or less like there have been a couple of projects, you know, uh, over years. You know, once again, as you yeah. also mentioned, and I've been covering them. Right. <laughs> So, and every time a project came out, it's all like, hey, we have learned some lessons, you know, and this is what they, so when we look at Griffey, how much confidence do you have in this project? How much involvement is also from the Kubernetes community as well? Then where you can say, hey, you know, this is the kind of final destination of bringing the CF experience to Kubernetes. 
This this is the first time we've we've really taken it from a Kubernetes native approach, as opposed to taking parts of Cloud Foundry and swapping it out. Like there was Irene, where we just tried to you know swap out Diego, the the container orchestration layer um, in, in Cloud Foundry for um, for Kubernetes, and that that was successful. I mean that worked, but that still left a you know monolithic uh, Cloud Foundry platform that wasn't quite extensible with other technologies. Um, and CF for Kates then was was a more robust version that was essentially swapping out Bosch for for Kubernetes. Um, the Karifi approach, this lighter weight approach, um, I, I think is going to be much more future proof than some of those others. Um, as it integrates with Kubernetes, it, 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 you know that's the goal in the short term. Um, and we've already, I mean, it's already integrated with Kubernetes, but the real goal is to have a more composable, extensible Cloud Foundry so that when another technology comes along, that can be incorporated a lot easier than, you know, the, uh, than Kubernetes has been. But um, ultimately, we're really happy with, with how Karifi is shaping up. Since, you know, it's very early days for the project, uh, what kind of involvement is there? Because when we look at Cloud Foundry, you have, you know, a lot of big players from old yeah. days of you know VMware and all those players, and VMware is also heavily invested in Kubernetes. So, if you can talk about what kind of community is there at this stage, uh, where you can say, "Hey, this is all the players from the Kubernetes space is also involved. These are the players you know, who are veteran from the Cloud Foundry space also yeah. involved, so that we can also understand you know who is building." Right. So, um, VMware and SAP um, are, are still you know, platinum members of the Cloud Foundry Foundation, and they're the driving force behind most of the development behind Cloud Foundry. Um, and the, both of them have been involved with Karifi, mainly VMware. Um, but the foundation and the, and the general Cloud Foundry community, I mean, IBM is still is still around um, to a slightly lesser extent, um, and we still have a you know robust open source community of people using deploying Cloud Foundry on their own. Um, Karifi, at this point, you know, we're 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 still kind of building that community, um, and it's. Is it very early stage? So you know, it's pretty. Yeah, yeah it's still pretty early yeah. for Karifi. So we're we're talking about it because we're very excited about it. Right. Um, you and, know, yeah, and that's why I wanted to uh, ask the question was because when your project is a very uh, very early stage, then the way you plan a lot of things are different. You know, a lot of things goes in education, awareness, talk to people about that. So so the the, the next uh, question about that will be so. Uh, of course, you are working on the project, you know, the, the code base. At the same time, when you're also trying to engage the community, there are a lot of efforts going on, which is about telling them what the project is about, yeah. telling them, about, hey, how they can use it. So what are the efforts going on there? We just launched uh, earlier, uh, just a month ago, we launched a new tutorials page. So tutorials.cloudfoundry.org. Um, there's a Karifi tutorial now. So that's, that's brand new. Um, we just launched that, and that was developed by the CFF um, in conjunction with the, with the dev team behind uh, Karifi. Um, so that that should be a, a big help. Um, we're going to be having a Cloud Foundry Day event in Heidelberg, Germany, on June 21st, um, and that'll be our first European event that we've had since before the pandemic. So really looking forward to that, and we can you know we'll be talking about Karifi a lot more there as well. We are here at KubeCon. Uh, tell us you know what is Cloud Foundry doing at KubeCon? Well. Um, we're pro largely we're promoting Karifi, uh, which we've already discussed a bit, um, and Paquetto Build Packs, um, which is our collection of cloud native build packs from the Cloud Foundry community. Um, that's uh, getting quite a lot of traction um, with Kubernetes end users and other folks in the CNCF uh, wider ecosystem. Um, it's also Paquetto Build Packs is consumed by um, by Karifi, so they're kind of linked technologies, but a lot of people are using. Um, Paquetto build packs on their own as well. Uh, Knative is consuming it. There's, there's a lot. There's quite a few uh, larger end user companies right now that are just using Paquetto build packs. Um, so we're trying to promote both of those projects kind of simultaneously right now. Chris, thank you so much for taking time out today, and of course, give an update on Karifi and you know we are a Cloud Foundry community and the project is heading. Uh, thanks for all those updates. And as usual, I would love to chat with you again soon. Thank Always you. Always a pleasure, Swapno. And um, yeah, we'll be in touch. Um, like I said, we've got that Cloud Foundry Day event in Heidelberg in June. And then um, uh, if I don't talk to you before then, I'll certainly see you in Chicago at next KubeCon.